Uh, go ahead, I'm recording now. Hello? Scott, are you there? Oh, hello. Yes. What happened? <laughs> oh, nothing. I, I'm recording now. Oh, all right, okay, because you, <laughs> you dropped out on Discord. That was funny. Okay, oh, so no, spoiler. You're not supposed to say the one. You go five, four, three, two, and then you don't say one because then you like start recording and you don't want to accidentally record yourself saying one. I, sorry, I guess that's I old know. old radio rules. <laughs> that's fine. No, I started the recording. That's fine. Like everything was going fine, but then it, it the Discord call dropped out. <laughs> oh dear. So yeah, I was about to say, and here's Quincy Morris, and then you just pop back into the call. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, this has been the right, best intro of any of our videos, I think. We're, we're, we're keeping that in. We're not ditching that. We're keeping that in. Oh yeah, no. It, it shows that we don't script anything, which I guess gives us a sense of uh, realness. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, um, I'm playing against Scott Sword. Now, is it Scott Sword or Scott Word? Or Scott Sword. Scott Sword. Yeah, Scott Sword. Yeah, that was, um, I'll, I'll have to tell this. Wait, let me pick my side location and then I'll oh, actually yeah. tell the story about what, what the name actually represents. I think I've said it on videos before. And I'll go here because I'm very outside of today. Yeah, so basically that was a Age of Empires 2 name. Uh, if anyone out there has played Age of Empires 2, I don't know if you've played Age of Empires I 2. I have. Um... So you know the tutorial, well, tutorial campaign. In inverted commas, yes. it's all about William Wallace. William Wallace. Yeah. So there the you go. I was playing I could it. Beat when I was young. <laughs> yep, same. I, I mean, did the first two missions of Joan of Arc, and then that was that was it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but because of that, I was like, I need to think of an epic name. I was like, well, I'm from Scotland. We're playing with Scottish like characters. So Scott, I want my, I've got a sword, Scott sword. There we go. And it's only until very like at least. Probably eight years later, when other people, like, especially when I did like internet based games, and I suddenly realized, oh, wait, it can be interpreted a different way. Right, so. Scott's word. Which is, you know, it's funny, and it's funny because it's like, well, either one of those could work. Um, exactly. It's not like yeah. it's a, a bad thing the other way. Uh, well, it's yeah, not, it's, it's interesting. It's, 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 I also picked Quincy Morris because he was a Texan, and I'm a Texan, and he was the guy who killed Dracula, and so I'm like, well, I feel like I should pick that name. And it'd be weird Jeez. to pick... Spoiler alert, I haven't finished the book yet. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh, so Dracula, yeah, Dracula dies in the, in the book. <laughs> like, the good guys win and the bad guys lose. I don't know if... Uh, I guess that's a spoiler. Sorry. It's uh, okay. Though, if, you're, if you are reading through Dracula, I will be excited to know your thoughts on it. Um, where uh, are you in the book now? Uh... Oh. Good question. Uh, it's here somewhere. Um, I'm still in. I'm still only got past. I'm still in like Jonathan Harker's section at the beginning. Uh -huh. He's made it. He's made it to the castle. Uh, he's met Dracula, but now getting suspicious. Things are a bit, yeah, weird. I can't remember exactly what point I finished up on, mm. but uh, yeah, and I'm not very far in. I think I actually yeah, made a comment on a recent video. I think I made a comment on a recent video, maybe it hasn't come out yet, but I did say it's very funny in terms of the board game. I mean, maybe I haven't seen how the other characters are in the book, how much role they've got. But you've got Jonathan Harker, who plays clearly quite a significant role at the beginning, and then in the game, it's just, ah, oh, you're an ally. <laughs> you're not playing yeah, the character. It, it's a little weird that he's just an ally in the, uh, in the book. Part of that is because technically the game takes place like eight years after the book, and it's like, oh, dra somehow Dracula has returned. And there are lore reasons for why one of Mina Harker er, and uh, Jonathan Harker has to stay home. Although at this point in the story, Mina Harker is Mina Murray. Um, so if you hear Mina Murray and don't know who that is, that's Mina Harker. And that's young Mina Harker. It's, a, it's the super rare version of Mina Harker where she's been young. If they turned all these characters into collectible cards. This is this is the insight I need about the game because I'm very, I just like play the board game. I'm very out of the loop in terms of like lore and my previous physical versions. Oh, of the I board love talking game. about the lore to... of uh, Fury of Dracula. It's um, very interesting. I, now, I, when I play the game, I like to just sort of pretend that it's the book. Um, ah, sure. Because it, it basically is, um, but technically it's 
technically it's not. Because, you know, it has to be a 4v1, so they have to sort of be like, okay, well, which characters are we turning into hunters? Which characters are we turning into... Uh, uh, in um, second edition, uh, Quincy Morris was an ally. Uh, and that's all I'll say about that. Um, I don't want to give spoilers away. Uh, but yeah, different... Uh, and, like, you will laugh about how much Rufus Smith is in the book. Um... <laughs> When how big of a deal he is in this game, he's like, "Oh, Rufus Smith, this super powerful character." Uh, and there are certain characters I wish were in the game that aren't, because um, there's a lot of there's a lot of characters in the book. Some are just mentioned briefly. Some have entire sequences where they're talking and carrying on. Uh, Thomas Builder is one who I'm a huge fan of, but he isn't in the game, and I'm like, "Man, I wish this guy was in the." game as an ally or something, but he is not. What was your first, like, experience with the game? Like, do you remember exactly when about you discovered it and, like, which edition yeah, it was? Yeah, it was and around... Was so I actually did an interview with um, Legendary Tactics, where I go into more detail. I think in that I say 2009... And I think that's right, but I seem to remember that I read the book before I played the game. And I read the book, I think... Was it my... I think it was my junior year in college? So that puts it more around, like... 2011. So maybe it wasn't 2009, it was 2011 when I first played the game. Um, but... I really liked it. Mostly... A, Significantly because I really liked the book. And so I uh, was like, wow, this is a really good adaptation of the book. I really like that it keeps all the same themes and characters and it understands, like, it gets it. A lot of adaptations of Dracula don't get it. They don't get Dracula. Um, this game gets Dracula. It gets, gets everything behind it. Um, are you dead? Are you doing the thing? Oh, good. You're not doing the thing. Excellent. Every, now that you've made that video, no one is going to do Bari or Amsterdam. No one is going to do it. <laughs> I know. I know. I kind of shot myself in the foot with that one. Uh, I should have oh, done it I'm after. Glad, because I actually hate it when Dracula's do that. Because <laughs> it's mm. like, oh gosh, I'm going to have to use like a chartered carriage or a forewarned or something. Oh, Epson Weber or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, probably done you a favor then if that's the case. So, you're, you're welcome. Very humble. I mean, Italy service. isn't as bad because it's like you're trading a mature effect for a pretty bad start because you're kind of having to go towards the hunters. And I've caught so many mm -hmm. Draculas in the northern part of Italy early in the game. It's like, yeah. ooh, this is not good for Dracula. Assuming assuming it's a decent fight, you can get Dracula if, if yeah, the hunters are Yeah, you don't aren't want to get into a one-on-one. -on -one. But it's no. usually rare to have that to have it be a one-on-one -on -one because two hunters start there. Let's see, how do I want to... As usual, I'm, I, I have no plan when I'm playing Draco, just winging it. <laughs> that is well, how I advise people to play the game. Although in the first week, it can be good to have an idea of like my first four moves are going to be this. But beyond that, yeah, it's pretty much you just uh, you just play with the hand that you're dealt, so to speak. You have no, you have you got no uh, until you play your. First, that's the only thing that like, we talked about. It. Or, like in separate videos because of the fact that Dracula can't see the encounter hand until they move. You might have this amazing plan, right? I'll do this, I'll put this encounter down, and then you look and go, oh, well, I've got, I haven't got the encounters to do this now. So, right. Bit... Part of me um, wishes that you saw your hand of encounters before you picked your starting location. I think same. that could make the game more interesting. If I were redesigning it, I, do a, I had a whole video where I talk about that, and afterwards I'm like, yeah. oh. But I could have also changed this, and also changed this. You know, it's one of those things where you, <laughs> after the fact, think of a lot more things you want to change. Um, but I, I wish you would see your hand before you picked your starting location. I think that would be uh, good for the game, as they say. 
I always find that if I do have a plan anyway, it just gets ruined by an early newspaper reports anyway. Mm -hmm. So that's also why I'm against the hide trick these days. Now I'm saying that if any of you watching, if I play you as Dracula, I will use the hide trick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I um, I like that not everyone does the hide trick, and I like that some people do. I think that is better for the game. If it, it if you always should hide in the first week, that's a sign of bad design. Anytime yeah. something is like, oh, always do this, then it's, um, it is not good design. Let's see, I will... Speaking of hide, if you could just keep those wax cylinders on Mina all game, that would be grand, facts. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking of doing that, but I likely will not. Um, yeah, let's do this. And for those of you watching at home, just so you know, in terms of context, we're recording this just as the first stage of the League of Dracula competition has, uh, is ending. And uh, even though we've got a few games still to decide who qualifies, Quincy and I have uh, both qualified from our respective groups. So we're going to have to get used to playing against each other, Quincy. We've got at least a few more matches. We've got, we've got two more matches against each other in the future. So that should be fun. No voice calls for that one, though. Serious gameplay. Yeah, I'm excited. Um... Yeah. You managed to overcome a little bit of a rough beginning in your group to qualify. And comfortably in the end. Yeah, and we're both recording this, so if you want to see the game from the other person's perspective, you can go over to the other channel. In fact, we should upload these at the same time. Let me know whenever I, I, you upload this, and I'll upload my version. I, I was about to say the exact same thing, yeah, so we can, we can call it. All right, can I get to this? Ooh. Hmm. Not without renewed vigor or sense of emergency, you won't. Ooh, you mean one of these? One of these mm -hmm. cards? One of those. Probably? Yeah. That is yeah, the thing that... I can't do it without? Yeah, that's the one. Yep. Alright, okay, just checking. Um... <laughs> uh, no. Oh, you don't have. Oh, why did I think that you did? Ladies and gentlemen watching at home, how bad would it be if now Quincy's user renewed Vigor to get all the way over to Nantes and then it's just rats? How bad would that be? I'd be happy if it was just rats, because that means I wouldn't have to deal with something. You know, it wouldn't be something... Of, oh? Ooh. Well, this is a new one. Oh, okay. Little graphical bug there, but not anything that... Uh, oh, that'll be, that'll be fun to see. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a new one. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, I am not going to risk it. Unless this happens to be like, I don't know, like a fog or something. Oh, it's not. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Well, it's a good oh. thing I did not risk yeah, it. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Couldn't trust that could your horse. really bad. Mm-hmm. Yup. Like, normally I wouldn't waste a renewed vigor this early, but I just really don't want to. Ooh, this is... Aha! Uh -oh. Okay, that's useful. That is useful information. Um. I really do not want to get in the fight with Dracula this early, so... Stop. 
instead, I'm gonna do this. Alrighty then. Swap this around. Uh huh. Uh huh. Alright. Uh, this is a hoax, isn't it? It is a hoax. Yeah. Kind of hate to use a stake on a hoax, but eh. It's all right. At least you stop the hoax, that's the main thing. I'd have, I'd have quite a lot to choose from. <laughs> Alright. Well, that narrows it down. Hmm. So do you want a wolf form from Strasbourg? You know, that's a pretty... You know, it's a, a lot of people like doing that. Jonathan Harker is going to make it a lot easier to hunt down these uh, layers. This is a great situation to have Jonathan Harker in. When you're like, oh, mm -hmm. i got to deal with all of these encounters, and there's a pretty good chance I'm not going to know where they are when they get there. But nope. It just makes the trail that much shorter. Okay. Uh, no reason to use any of these. Well... Let's see if you backtracked into 38. You did not. Okay. All right. Little Harv. Ah, you can search that. Oh, very good. That's what I was wanting to do. Um, let's see. If <laughs> Well, since it's now week two, I'll go ahead and go here and check. Okay. Um, you'll pass. You will try to improve force economy. And let's see what lurk, what evil lurks. Is it an aristocratic vampire? No, it's just a guy. A normal human man! Oh no, my only weakness! Okay. Oh! <laughs> wow! Yeah, I don't was gonna wanna... say, are it, are it, body guards are multiple. <laughs> you try to fight off multiple body guards with just a stake. Yeah. Is it? Is That's it plural? Oh, it is plural. Yeah. It's bodyguards. Ah, uh, yeah. In uh, second edition, there was a whole class of encounter of uh, different encounters. It was like gypsy with a knife and gun, gypsy with a rifle and knife, assassin, which was rifle, gun, and knife. These are all for Dracula. And so when you encountered those, you actually had fights with, with like that followed the normal rules of combat where you play weapons and Dracula's minions play weapons to try to damage you. Wow. Yeah, in this... Like, it was like, okay, it, but there weren't really, like, fights with other vampires. That wasn't really a thing. Um, oh, so vampires were, like, static. Like, yeah, like, well, so th they were more like aristocratic vampires in that I think it's only when you encounter them at night that you actually fought them. Uh, mm. And so because of that, they sort of were, they sort of changed that and were like, well, we'll make it so um, you fight... Uh, Vampires. Those are the things that Dracula leaves behind that you fight, and the the whole body, the whole uh, his minions. Those are just sort of like a deterministic thing. Um, and so that's how it, you know, that's how it was done. Uh, yeah, OK. 
Okay. Now nah, I won't discard anything. Oh. Shoop. Those are okay. Uh, let's see. You so just, so just, just to be clear, f two false balls is garlic. Good luck. And what was the other thing? Stone Seward. Uh, yeah. Two. Good luck. Oh, and surprising return. Yeah. I wish they gave no. you more time. That's something you really want to. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Uh, as, for, as a thing that Roscoe came up with with one of our matches, I totally agree. Oh, like stakes for the everywhere. Most part, I like that. You know, in one of my games, I once had three stakes on Godling in the first like three days. It's like oh. I want stakes. I do not want this many stakes. Yeah, yeah. There's a video I put up. We had triple stake on Van Helsing, and he was in the UK as well. Like this is this is not the situation I want to fight myself in. And triple dogs on Nina, I think, or something like that. It is, well, as the yeah. kids say, not very cash money. Indeed. Yes. All right. I will get rid of that. Oh, big meanie, honestly. Well, I mean, this is part of the reason why you put Mina next to Godalming, is so that when you get good items onto Godalming, because it gets more fast, you feed him over to Mina, and then he supplies more. Indeed. And you can do the same thing with tickets. I mean, I must admit, that's my reason why I have my Scott Sword set up. I just have them both in the yeah. same city, so you can just trade it instantly. You're not having to think about, uh, oh, wait, I need to move saves, one it over. It saves the day action. There is an advantage to it. But then what you lose from efficiency, then, well, what you gain in efficiency, you lose from like unpredictability of which region mm -hmm. you're going to Psychic Bomb. So I see merits to both. I see merits to both. <clears throat> okay, I'm playing any of those. Well, I think you were tricky and tried to go this direction. actually. And... Yeah. Well... Nah. There's no reason. Oh, well. I guess that made uh -oh. the decision for me. Into Seward space I go. Oh, you have a thing here. Ah, well, there goes the extra health I was wanting to get from healing in Seward space. We're not really talking anymore, we're just focusing on the game that kind of shows you how much this yes. game just sucks you in. Usually I talk so much, but I don't when someone can listen to me. Uh... <laughs> That's true. No, no you, you explain your strategies to me, that's totally fine. <laughs> no, 
I don't think I will. Oh, you did get the uh, wax cylinders traded over. Good to know. I love going no, at my bodyguards with Steve. Another steeps. human man! I cannot defeat all of these human men. They are too powerful for me. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's do this. Oh dear. <laughs> Well, I am going to get a lot of value out of Jonathan Harker this game. That's all I can say about that. Indeed. Shame. Misdirect. It's a little bit of a counter to Jonathan Harker. Yeah, where are the newspaper reports? <laughs> this is very unusual. <laughs> Well, so yeah, I many even, uh... in the discard deck. This is insane. Well, I haven't been doing like a ton of day supplies, but still, like half the Dracula events are already in the discard pile. Ah. <laughs> uh. Well. Hmm. Oh, you didn't learn it. Fascinating. No. Hmm. Okay, no free damage for you. Might as well do one of these. Oh, very good. Not that I thought you were there. Just, uh, let me just do some math here. Yeah. This is how it's gonna have to go down. Sure you want to do that? Oh yes. Alright. Oh no, a vampire? What? No, there are I vampires know. in this game? When you're playing Scott Sword, there aren't. <laughs> Not in the first week anyway. Right, no, I'm about 
much here. Not much. Not much. I... My pad and pen in front of me are telling me very little about what Mina has. <sighs> Mina has a punch, she has a dodge, and she has an escape. But you can't play the escape this turn. I can tell you that much, at <laughs> least. Oh. Well, I was thinking about not doing that. But then I was like, ah, I like living, personally. Generally a fan of it. Oh, so now I see what your priorities are. Okay, then. Hmm. <laughs> I'll just have to do one of these then, won't I? Since you're not cooperating. I'm also oh, a fan what? of you not living. That's my well, second on my priority. Well. Thank goodness, oh thanks for the mesmerize. Ah, uh, yes. That... I forgot about that, actually. <laughs> uh, so Don't be too honest, so did I. <laughs> I guess we both forgot about it. That That's fine. If we both forgot about the mesmerize, it's okay. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, oh good, I don't have to try to kill him another way. No. I'll do one of these then. Ah. I always get those two around the wrong way. Very easy play. Escape is missed. Oh no, oh yeah, that's also easy. Also an easy play, yeah. I don't think I got a escape is missed. Well, if I looked at the cards correctly. I got a bat. That's like, what, two damage? You know, I could have just gone uh, away and yeah. you do two damage to me and then we could have saved yeah. a lot of this. Indeed. I, I would have. I would have played Fang's first turn, so that I would have also got a point out of it. So actually, you did better out of that. I have six rounds of combat. <laughs> see, you really are. You don't. Uh, Alright, well. Alrighty oh, then. Well, I don't mind going here. Shame. If it wasn't for Jonathan Harker. Yeah, he's, I thought uh, I thought uh, I thought I had you. F mm. I shouldn't have put him in. Uh, shouldn't have put him in D tier. <laughs> <laughs> he's just trying to uh, prove his worth. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I did say at the beginning of that video. Other than maybe blood transfusion, I see the point of every card. <laughs> so. Yeah. They all have their uses. They all have their uses. Except what? So I checked my mm -hmm. stats. I have played. So I played a little over 300 games. I played Dr Blood Transfusion six times. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Uh, what do I go with? All? Probably this one. Yeah. Oh, so that's. Okay.
do it again. Oh no. Not rats. Uh, let's see. Not very much. Let's uh, let's do this. This close to not going there. Glad <laughs> I did. hard not to talk. <laughs> ah, this is so different. Um, we could talk about I mean, things not related to the game. <laughs> Indeed. What, what's so, a, what, uh, if what, you haven't what checked is, out what? the audiobook of Fury of Dracula, it is quite excellent. Or, of uh, Dracula, I mean. I have not. Um, but maybe I should do that because I'll probably get through the book faster because I can listen to it while I'm walking around town. You want the one with um, Tim Curry, who did, who, although there's a whole bunch of people who did the voice acting. Um, it's really well done. In my opinion, it's really the uh, the ideal way to experience the book. Uh, Show. I'd definitely get through it a lot quicker <laughs> if I can listen to it while I'm out and about. Rather than dedicating time to it. I'm a big fan of audio books for that reason. Okay, what do you got here? Bats. bats. Oh, bats.
by bats. Indeed. Oh, I'll send you back here. There's a little surprise waiting for you. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. Oh no, it's Antifa! Um, I'll just, I'll just take <laughs> damage. there is a reasonable chance this is a hoax, I will risk a night supply. Ooh. Nah. Oh, you have a second renewed vigor, do you? Maybe. Oh, you're just not seeing that? I've had that for like the past four days. I thought for sure you would have noticed it. Yes, I have a second renewed I, vigor. I, I, have, I, have, I haven't clicked on it. I mean, to be fair, I saw like the prompt each day. I was like, mm, that could be a surprise return. Mm. But, uh, yeah. Hmm. That is part of the reason I didn't go to Cadiz. You don't want to risk, now that I think about it, you don't want to risk her dying, which is a little under a renewed vigor. Uh -huh. Well, I've been really liking how the tournament has been going. Okay, good to see where this is. It's Granada, which is which I already knew. Aha! Ha! Ah! Oh, that feels so good. Oh. Ah. oh man, that could have gone very pear-shaped very quickly. Well, mm -hmm. this kind of has to be checked. Alright. Say hi to my vampire. Oh no! Flee, sexual temptation! Flee, flee! Haha! Oh. -ha. Lord Godleming is far too chaste for your tomfoolery. Um, <laughs> I will... I'll roll the bones and see how it goes. Alright, well, that answers that question, then. Well, actually, before I do this, do you have any... No, you don't have anything to lose. What do you have to lose? Nothing. Um... Nothing. <laughs> hmm. I never went there. <sighs> I should have gone there just for that joke to work. Oh, you all, you are here. I am here, hello. Mm -hmm. no, a vampire. Indeed. I know you have no... Do you know about the special the um, achievement for Toulouse? Uh, no, I don't. No, I mean, maybe I've unlocked it, I haven't realized. So it's, it's one of the hidden ones. If you are defeated in Toulouse, you get the achievement to lose in Toulouse. <laughs> Very good. Yes, that is real, uh, and I love it. Uh, hey, a point for you. Yes. I have achieved something. Indeed. Very good. Hmm. Alright, what the heck am I gonna do with you? I think... We are going to Granada. Which, there was once a Board Game Geek play-by-forum version of this, and anytime anyone went to Granada, they would play that some clip from Sesame Street in which Grover kept singing about Granada non-stop. And they thought it was the funniest joke. The problem is, a lot of people went to Granada though during the whole game, and I don't know, I suppose theoretically at some point the joke got old, but... <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was certainly something. Um... Oh, not really a position I want to be in. Clearly, my note taking has been at very subpar. So, I had information about Van Helsing. I check the combat information screen, and all my information is incorrect, so this is a problem. 
Uh, well, a I very did... big problem. Van Helsing and Godling did trade. Okay then, I was not paying attention to this. This is it's not a league game, so it's fine. Um. Hmm. What do I think you're gonna play? Well, I'm really happy that you're finding that the tournament has been going well so far. Ah, oh, versus. Ah. Oh. Damn you, old man. <laughs> that. Well, you're getting beaten by the oldest man. All right, that gets you down to seven. That's good. Seven is a long way from zero. So the halfway though, that's the problem. Ooh. This. Uh, hmm. Crab shoot, basically. Oh. Oh. Not ideal. <sighs> Combat deck has not been kind. Um. Ooh, dear. Oh, dear. oh. It, is that is that good or not? Yeah. If you, do you have a, an event to help you? I may be. Oh, I do actually. Haha. -ha. Oh, man, literally too angry to die. <laughs> All right, four damage and then I'm out. That seems good to me. Yeah, that works. You can uh, you can stick around and fight me and Lord Godling if you want. I'll even have a chance mm. to trade some stuff around. That could be uh, could be fun. Uh, do you? Oh, there is. Is there stuff in the line? There is. Oh, right. A vampire. I have uh, I have some staking to do here. Oh, come on. Alright, you need to, um, supply, yeah, or heal, I mean, um, yeah, you're actually Ooh, yeah. going to do this. Uh, yeah, let's see what this is. Oh! Uh, Another vampire, man! You just you just have a lot of vampires. There's, there's a lot of vampires in this game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Didn't use any in the first week. Save them all up. Just especially. Not that it's helping me out. I'm not getting any points out of this. Um. Hmm. Eh. Well, seems like a good idea to play Renewed Vigor right now. Hmm, I disagree. Uh, <laughs> let's do. Let's do this. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hello! Oh, let's lay on my screen, I didn't see it then. Damn. Um... You have fog? You have a daytime, you have a land fog you want to hit me with? No? Ugh, man. I did all this work. Okay, um... Well, I'm gonna just... I'm gonna just grab a... I'm just gonna grab a normal card then. I, I, did, I didn't want to have to forewarn to fog anyway. Um... Let's go up to Munich. Milan is there. Uh, 
yes. And we will mosey on up to here. Let's see if I can get a point before I die. I point did, for I, you. That's two now. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, I think uh, healing, now that Seward is in my space, seems like a good idea. And... I do lose the, the uh, two actions from Mina, uh, and here you can have this. Oh! Look at look at this, ladies and gentlemen. I invite Quincy onto the channel for a nice, friendly game, and look how he's treating me. Oh, there are no friendly games for me. There is only victory and death. Uh, what do I want to do? Let's, uh, let's. Oh, that was a mistake. Oops. Oh. But that's my own dang fault. Uh, let's go ahead and get you to 5 HP, the magic number. Well, oh, I guess he was the magic number. A... Okay, this is fog, isn't it? Uh, Alicante? Uh, you'll have to wait and see. I guess I'll have to wait and see. If it's uh, a vampire, then well done. Goodness gracious, how many vampires did you draw this game? It seems like every one of your encounters is vampires. But there's a lot of vampires in the deck, and sometimes... It can just be vampires for days, and that's just how it goes. Yeah. Oof. Ah. Oh, it was a fog. Well, I guess Mina's going to stay there for a little longer than normal. She gets to dig for, I guess, I don't know, vampire lair or something. You, you leave two things to mature. The two things I didn't want to mature. Yeah, it's, but. often it is a crapshoot when it comes to the, that. But, okay, let's see. What do I want to... How do I want to do this? Let's... We gotta kind of, yeah, okay, yeah. You always go for the obvious place. Always gotta try that at least once. Um, do I? Uh, I can always get it all the way back. Aha! Ah. I had to try it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thing about Europe, there's just too many vampires everywhere. Is that, is that a variation on a joke from Lost Boys? That's the problem with Las Vegas, there's too many vampires. Is that the last line in the movie? I don't know, I've never seen Lost Boys. I actually do not watch never. all that many vampire movies. The only one I really actually like is Van Helsing. Absolutely love that movie. I don't care what anyone says. Um, but that's because I don't like I horror. Is that, as in the Van Helsing movie that um, Grant in the horror worked on? Ah, uh, yeah, that'll be the same one then. Yes, yep. yeah. Uh huh. Oh. Mm hmm. See, making reference to it in the tabletop video. Well, I might as well play this now. Uh, 
dig for another heavenly host or yeah. something. Put, put me out of my misery. <laughs> Hey, you scored three whole points on me, and hey, maybe you'll score even more than that here. Mmm. Nah. Uh, no, you stay here for a bit. It. Nope. Very difficult as a Dracula to fight against two hunters with only two health. That's uh yeah, That's gonna be it. A, a very yeah. difficult very difficult feat. Three health? Maybe if you didn't have knives, but two health That's not gonna happen. So let's see if I can take one of you out with me. That would be nice. Oh. oh! 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 This is a change. This is a change of things. Hmm. Fascinating. Weird. But actually, I just oh. I'm actually dead. So. Oh. <laughs> I gave you a twinge of hope there for a second. I was like, "Ooh, this could go well for me." I was thinking, "Ah, you know, I could punch," but I was like, "Ah." Nah, I just, I just kill a vampire. Just shoot him. Um, well, Mina, I guess you get to have a vacation in uh, Granada. I heard it's very nice this time of year. Yes. See, if I had a little bit more health, this could go really well for me, but you got me too low of that heavenly host. I'm very annoyed now. I had a, I had a fang in Munich. I was like, I don't think Quincy's going to play heavenly host first turn, and you did. That would have uh, been a very different game if I'd actually played combat correctly, but oh well. Well, it's, yeah. you know, hindsight's really uh, 2020. Oh yeah, I, absolutely. And what's fun is as you play more, you get more of an idea of like, oh, he plays like this. And then you have to sort of change as, things as you go, but it becomes hard. You're playing Fangs, aren't you? Hmm. You are. Oh. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, well, that, yeah, I thought you were going to play well done. Fangs. Of course, that was kind of your only play, was to hope. Uh, Suwin had the head head of the host, uh, in case you're wondering. I actually oh. grabbed the holy bullets with that one game, mind, so... Oh, wow. Really, really oh, kind of an unnecessary move on my part to grab the bullets for uh, killing the vampire, but... Ah, oh, you never know. You never if know. If you got even... Well, you, mm -hmm. uh, you actually got, I think, four points there, so that's... I... I did. So that's something. But, but still, I thought I had you tricked for a very long time, and then... Well, you did it all, for, it all for fell a little apart. while, but the thing is, you, you know, eventually, so, honestly, Harker really, really MVP mm -hmm. in this match. We just I, were talking about how, man, Jonathan Harker is so, not, so much not a big deal in the board game. Man, he was a big deal in this board game, and this one, he, he was kicking ass. Because, wait, you didn't get any newspapers at all, so that's why I know what the problem No, no, there's a reason why I'm like, there's five cards that help you. Hypnosis, Jonathan Harker, and the three newspapers. Jonathan Harker, if you don't draw any newspapers, actually very clutch. Mm -hmm. Now, well, what becomes what tricky is when you draw Jonathan Harker and you don't draw any newspapers, and then you draw Rufus Smith, and it's like, ooh, who is Rufus yeah. Smith? It was a better ally? <laughs> or do I not and hope I get a surprising return? You know, that becomes interesting. All of these are interesting questions. Well, my, at least the I say the, the the thumbnail for the video is now sorted. It'll just be Jonathan Harker OP. Oh basically. yes. <laughs> I should name mine uh, something similar so people know it's the same video. Jonathan Harker mm -hmm. OP. But yeah, you should check out the audiobook. On, it's on Audible. Uh, it's the one of the black and red cover of the Tim Curry as the narrator. Very good. Mm, I will. Thank you for that Very recommendation. Good. Uh, and uh, as for everyone else watching, remember you can watch this game from Dracula's perspective over on um, Scott Sword's channel. And I uh, hope you go look for it with Godspeed.